Hey everyone, it's Dina from assemblyhomecook.com. Today I'll be showing you how to make braised beef short ribs. The juicy braised meat is so tender and fall off the bone delicious. It's a classic comfort food you'll fall in love with over and over again. Start off by cooking four strips of chopped bacon in a Dutch oven pot over a medium high heat. Once the bacon is nice and crispy, remove it and set it aside. Now bring the heat up to high and add the short ribs in. Sear each side of the meat for about a minute per side. Remove the short ribs from the pot and set it aside for later. Then add two medium chopped onions and four minced garlic cloves to the same pot and saute for about two to three minutes. Now you can place the short ribs back into the pot and add one and a half cups of baby carrots, two cups of dried mushrooms, one and a half teaspoons of cumin, a teaspoon of paprika, two teaspoons of salt, and a teaspoon of black pepper. Using a spoon, roughly mix all the ingredients together. Then pour one and a half cups of red wine, and two cups of chicken broth over the meat. Cover and place it in the oven at 340 degrees Fahrenheit for about two and a half hours. Meanwhile, combine a tablespoon of water with two tablespoons of cornstarch. Then add the cornstarch mixture to the beef and give it a quick stir. This will really help thicken up that delicious gravy from the juices of the meat. Now pop the lid back on and bake for an additional 30 minutes. It's been an extremely long three hours. My house smells so, so good. But I guarantee you this recipe is worthwhile. I've tested it many, many times, and I gotta say, I nailed it. So I'm gonna go ahead and dig right in. I'm gonna get some of that beef, a carrot. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. The beef is tender, fall off the bone, melt in your mouth, I mean, it is the ultimate comfort food. It's super cold outside, so this is like, this is goals right here. Super delicious. I hope you guys give it a try. And if you do, tag me on Instagram. I love seeing your creations. And please be sure to like, share, and subscribe to my channel so you never miss any of my new recipes. Until next time.